I'm Dr. Anthony Malou for Eyes and Faces and Corner in Ocular Plastic Surgery in Sydney and welcome to this video on Keratoconus Selling Fear. I have an, a parallel video on Keratoconus Selling Hope which you might, which does tie in with a lot of this. But just to summarise, keratoconus is that condition that's invisible that causes a distortion of vision, or loss of vision and patients will come in and not know that they can't see or can't see well and not work out why they haven't been able to do what they want to do. It's an invisible condition and the patients are invisible cripples. So. Imagine if you go in and you get your eyes checked to, only to be told that you have keratoconus and you're probably going to go blind. If I were a, a young person with no knowledge of it, I'd probably freak out. And that's precisely what happens. I see that all the time. Patients will come rushing in telling me, oh my God, I'm going to go blind. I need to have cross-linking followed by intacts or intra, 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 intracorneal stromal rings. So what I want to show you today is a young lady who I first saw in 2012. She was about 30 at the time. She came in with precisely that story. I was told I have to have treatment, otherwise I'm going to go blind. She had what I would classify as form frust keratoconus, F-O-R-M-E, F-R-U-S-T, which basically means very mild keratoconus. She had 6 fix 6 vision in one eye and 6-5, better than 6-6 or better than 20-20 in the other. And she was teary. I basically said to her, just stop rubbing. And I monitored her. We gave her no cross-linking, nothing. And, and I saw her just recently in 2022 and her maps are identical. In 10 years, she hasn't moved. These are maps of six years out and there's absolutely zero shift. Her vision hasn't changed, it's still 6665. Her pachymetry measurements hasn't changed. She's had no treatment and I'm not even gonna see her again. I've told her, look, don't rub your eyes, come back if you have a problem, see your optometrist every year. Um, so this young lady, to summarise, was sold the fear of loss of vision. You're going to go blind if you don't have treatment. Treatment that is not inexpensive either, very expensive treatment. So one must ask the question, why is that done? And what benefit could you actually offer a patient who can already see 2020 or better? I'll leave those questions unanswered. You can think about them yourself. I hope that all makes sense. I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces and Corneal Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney, and thanks for watching.